Yo, what's up guys? It's Sam here. Welcome back to another video. Could could you guys tell this wasn't me? You know, cuz... Cuz I'm a piece of sh**. Yeah, we'll confront that later. Yo, what's up guys? Sam here. Welcome back to another one. Man, we got a great show today with details about the release date for iPhone 13, AirPods 3 potentially, new details about Apple Watch Series 7, and some M1X MacBook Pro news. I'll leave it at that. We'll jump into it in a moment. We got a, a big show, great news. You guys are excited. I hope you are. Maybe you're not. Let's just jump into the video. So what are you waiting for? If you're excited for today's video, drop a like down below. It seriously helps me and the channel out. And click that subscribe button and turn on the bell for notifications so that you never miss a beat. First up, there's a new episode of Genius Bar out right now. So if you haven't checked out my podcast yet, it's a great time to do so as we head into iPhone 13 season. It's one of our, our best episodes yet. It's just a really good time. So check it out. Link is down below. All right, we actually got to talk about some family matters first because my uncle is making an appearance in today's video. No, not my actual uncle. I'm talking about your uncle, my uncle, everybody's favorite uncle, Uncle Pan. You guys remember Uncle Pan from a few months ago said that AirPods were coming in April, but also said like the new iPad Pro and some cases were coming and they did. Uh, essentially, I haven't come up with an exact record record for this person. Not the best source. Definitely not the worst though. Well, Uncle Pan is back with the deets about the Apple Watch Series 7 purportedly. And the reason I'm reporting this is because it really does line up with other things we've heard. It's like sources saying that there's gonna be a big redesign, but more importantly in the context of this, that the screen is going through some changes. Uncle Pan tells us that for the second time in Apple's history, the Apple Watch Series 7 is getting a physically larger display, which means that Apple's gonna call it something different as well. You might remember way back we started with the 38 millimeter and 42 millimeter Apple Watch. Then with the Series 4 redesign, we went up to 40 and 44. And now we're apparently going to 41 for the low end and 45 millimeters for the higher end larger Apple Watch. So 41 and 45. I mean, one millimeter isn't that much larger at all. It'll be a really small change, but something that subtle made me say, well, wait a second. Uh, Apple kept the bands compatible between the first design and then the larger 40 and 44 but what about going 41 to 45? What about all of the Apple Watch bands? Are those just gonna be gone? I mean, I obviously wanna wait on, on more confirmation from more credible sources to tell you for sure, but Uncle Pan actually clarifies in his initial post on Weibo that yes, they will be compatible, which I'm kind of shocked about, but at the same time, the Apple Watch band collector ecosystem is pretty niche and they're pretty dedicated, so I don't know if Apple wants to exactly upset them for, th for this fashion tech accessory. So yeah, all your bands, they, they should work on the new design. And I don't know about you, but I can drink to that. You might be wondering why I'm in the shower. Well, it's because it's summertime. It's hot as hell outside, and we VPN just started their summer sale. You guys know the VPNs help you stay safer and more anonymous online, and there's a reason I use WeVPN instead of everybody else. The guys over at WeVPN are a group of industry veterans that left all the other VPN companies doing sketchy stuff with your data in order to make a product that not only gets better every week, but that also cares about you. On top of that, WeVPN allows you to unblock content on now more than 350 streaming services around the world, meaning you can watch shows that aren't usually available in your area. I've used this and it's so cool. And right now there's a crazy deal happening. The summer sale is live, which means that for a limited time, you can get 74% off and three months of free service when you purchase a two year plan. That's just $2.59 a month. And on top of that, when you use code IUPDATE, you get an additional 10% off. Listen, there's a reason that I continue to work with WeVPN each and every single week. And it's because I use it and I believe in it. If you guys like what I do here on YouTube, then head over to wevpn.com slash IUPDATE Date and get started today. Oh, no, for this MacBook Pro story. Oh, that was a really good stretch. Well, let me just take a second to enjoy that. Oh, anyway, for the MacBook Pro, uh, upgrading to the 16 inch model, it's actually gonna be a stretch for most of us now. This leaker named Dylan DKT, who has been essentially spot on for everything Mac related, who has been giving us details about the iMac before it came out, the M1X Mac Mini, the M1X MacBook Pros, coined the name M1X and is reliable. Well, they've given us some new details about the M1X MacBook Pro. First of all, we know that there's a 14 and a 16 inch model coming. He says that the 14-inch model will be a substantial price upgrade over the 13-inch. So it's not like the 
14 inch is going to be replacing the MacBook Pro at the same price point, it sounds like it's gonna be a lot more expensive. Uh, and we don't have exact pricing here, but it suggests that it would be, I don't know, it sounds like upwards of $500, $600 more expensive. It doesn't sound like a minor price bump. And it, it seems like Apple could remain selling the 13 inch. That's sort of the vibe I got here. The bigger news though, was that both the 14 and the 16 inch, we know would have M1X inside. That's obvious, that's the next generation of the M1 processor. It has additional cores, it'll have a much upgraded GPU, additional RAM capabilities, additional storage capabilities, but, well, usually there's a, there's a processing difference in the MacBook line. For as long as the MacBook Pro line has been out, and correct me if I'm wrong down below, the smaller version has had a weaker processor and the larger version of the MacBook Pro is at a more powerful processor. It's like the space, the constraints are upgraded so you get a better chip, you're also paying more so you get better performance. Apparently that's stopping this year with the M1X because it is going to be the exact same performance and capability on both the 14 inch and the 16 inch, which leaves, it sounds like the only incentive to go 16 inch would potentially be better battery life and a larger screen. The performance will be identical between both sizes. The specs will be identical between both sizes, which is something we haven't seen before. And I think it's gonna push a lot of people down to the 14 inch and by a lot of people I mean myself since I could afford the larger size MacBook Pro I've always gone with that because of the real estate for video editing but also because the specs inside were simply better but now hearing that it's gonna be the same you can get all that power in the same portable design of essentially the 13 inch that's gonna be pretty hard to pass up especially with the increase in screen size getting closer to the 16 inch. Anyway, I just wanted to share this because it's a huge strategy change in how Apple markets their lower end and higher end products. I mean, it's kind of wild. So let me know what you're thinking down below. Is this gonna change which MacBook Pro you buy? And speaking of buying things, you, you guys ready to get confused? So with the September event just around the corner, iPhone 13, Apple Watch Series 7, now apparently AirPods 3 will also be going on sale in September. And try to keep up if you can here, it comes from a report report from IT Home who found a user's post on Weibo, which the user screenshotted a retailer of some iPhone 13 and iPods listings. Confused yet? No, why would you be? Long story short, a, a random Chinese retailer that I'm not familiar with at all uh, posted the dates for when iPhone 13 mini, iPhone 13, iPhone 13 Pro, and iPhone 13 Pro Max alongside AirPods 3 were coming, and it's as follows. They say Friday, September 17th is when all of the iPhone 13 models are launching this year, so no delays, it's all at the same time. And then AirPods 3 come a little bit later on Thursday, September 30th. Now, strictly looking at the calendar, these are pretty realistic dates. The iPhone always launches on a Friday, so that's no surprise. That, that seems realistic. As far as AirPods on a Thursday, it could just be a press release, so maybe. If this is the case, Apple always launches the iPhones a week and a half following their event because pre-orders would be the week before, which would be September 10th meaning that the September event would be on September 7th, according to this information. The thing is with this, we don't really know if it's real or not. It very well could be. The, the part that I, I don't believe is that this one random retailer just somehow obtained access to these dates before anybody else. I really think they're probably guessing because I'm sure a lot of retailers are just putting it in the system as is what they believe, not actual reliable information. Yet at the same time, Friday, September 17th is an incredibly realistic day. And, and right now, I think it really is the best guess for the iPhone 13. It's the 17th or the 24th. That for sure is when the iPhone 13 is launching. And right now, we're, we're slightly leaning towards the 17th. Of course, we're so close. We'll have more information about the September event. It will be announced within a week if it is happening with the event on the 7th. So, so much happening. Make sure you guys are subscribed here in case you aren't already. Drop a like if you enjoyed this or learned something new. Hey, I've been Sam. I hope you're doing well. Love you, cool cats. I'll see you in my next video. Peace.